Hello and welcome to this VoIP nugget about working with voice over IP gateways. I'm Marco Lichti at Patent in Up Networks and thanks a lot for listening. First, let me give you an overview of what we are going to talk about today. This series about working with VoIP gateways is split into three parts. And part one is about what is a VoIP gateway and this is what we're going to talk about today. There will be two other parts one about how to install a gateway, including step-by-step -step instructions for you, and the third part about basic gateway troubleshooting. So, what is a VoIP gateway? A VoIP gateway is nothing else than a converter or translator. It converts between the old world of telephony and the new world of telephony um, or among different telephony protocols. On the lower left, for example, you see the new world of telephony. There is a 3CX phone system, which bases on SIP, which is the most recent standard of telephony systems. On the top right, on the other hand, you see an ISDN network, which is something that exists for, you know, 20 years or so. And it's not the most recent type of telephony system anymore, but it's still pretty wide in use. So what the gateway does is it, it converts calls from one world into the other world. And, and this works into both directions. So there can be a call from a 3CX phone system into an ISDN line from German Telecom, for example, or there can be a call from the ISDN line into the 3CX phone system. And they both work perfectly well. Before we continue this VoIP nugget, I'd like to introduce to you the VoIP gateway we are going to use for the rest of the nugget. This is the Patent Smart Note 4638. It's a gateway that fits into the scenario that we've been drawing on the previous slide. It has two Ethernet ports for SIP connectivity to the 3CX phone system. And it has four ISDN lines to connect to German Telecom, for example. It converts eight simultaneous voice or fax calls from SIP to ISDN. And of course, being a smart node, it supports true any-to-any -any call switching. When do we need gateways um, with the GCX phone system? Well, the most uh, straightforward reason is that the gateway allows 3CX to focus on SIP. So the gateway hides other telephony protocols. So 3CX uh, system doesn't have to learn ISDN, talk analog and stuff like that. So it can purely focus on SIP, the most recent communication protocol, and the gateway does the job of connecting it to ISDN or analog lines. Calls are simply forwarded from one to the other. It, it's kind of a, a protection of existing investments um, because you might not want to throw away all your existing ISDN or analog lines or gear, but you can use gateways in order to connect them to the phone system. It mitigates the risk, in other words, of a migration to a phone system. Typical situations when you want to use a VoIP gateway is when your 3CX phone system connects to public ISDN lines or analog lines, when you want to hook up a fax machine to your 3CX phone system, or if uh, in a branch office of yours, there's still an old PBX that has to be integrated with the new phone system at headquarters, for example. Let me show you a basic call flow. On the left side, there is an ISDN network, then comes a VoIP gateway, and on the right side, there is the SIP network consisting of a 3CX phone system and a SIP telephone. What happens first is there's coming a call from the public ISDN line um, with a SIP, an ISDN setup message. Um, the user in the ISDN network gets a dial tone and the gateway collects the digits if needed um, and then forwards the SIP invite to the 3CX phone system. The 3CX phone system looks up the correct extension and forwards the call with another SIP invite to the phone. The phone answers and there's a couple of messages exchanged until the phone rings. The gateway translates this information into an ISDN alerting message, which tells the other side that, hey, the phone is ringing. So the other guy will hear the alerting tone or ringback tone. When the person at the SIP telephone on the right picks up the phone, there is a SIP message 200 OK sent back to the gateway. The gateway converts that into a ISDN connect message, which makes the audio path being switched on. 
So we will have voice in the RTP stream between the phone and the gateway. And the gateway will translate all the voice into the ISDN uh, PCM standard. So the persons can talk. And if the phone is hung up on one side, uh, it's a SIP by message that is sent, which is translated by the gateway into an ISDN disconnect message. And the call is finished. So that's basically it. it it's no magic. Uh, the SIP messages are the same with the gateway than without a gateway. Just the gateway knows how to translate this into ISDN messages. This concludes the VoIP nugget about working with VoIP gateways, part one of three. If in the meantime you want to know more about uh, other VoIP nuggets or you need detailed instructions before uh, we come out with the next VoIP nugget or you want to know more about patent VoIP gateways, go visit these links and they'll give you plenty of information. Again, thanks for listening and see you soon.